Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you how I refinished this tired looking pine sideboard and gave it more of a modern and stylish look. So I picked up this piece quite cheap and I liked it because it's super sturdy and it's solid wood. The only thing I wasn't too keen on was the dated shape of the feet across the bottom, but I've got a plan to make a wooden plinth that goes all the way around the bottom, which should hopefully square things up a bit and bring it up to date. To save costs, I wanted to use wood that I already had laying around, so I'm taking some treated boards that I have and I'm just eyeing things up to see if I can use these to make a plinth around the bottom of the sideboard. So luckily, they're just the right size, but because they were really rough, I had to take my orbital sander and give them a thorough sanding and worked all the way up to 180 grit. This will help get them nice and smooth, ready for painting later on. And as you can see here, there's a huge difference between the sanded and the unsanded boards. And to give the Gorilla Glue something to stick to, I'm scuffing up the surface to get right down to the porous pine. I am sort of cheating here by not using a tape measure, but sometimes I just do find this method so much easier. So I'm just drawing a line and taking the board to the mitre saw to get my two end pieces. I'm just taking another piece of wood to make sure that I secure my end piece flush with the front and using Gorilla wood glue, clamps and a brad nailer, I secure the board to the base from the inside so we don't have any holes visible from the front. I then repeat these same steps for the other side before tackling the front of the sideboard. The sides were on, I then clamped my piece of wood to the front and drew a line before taking it to the mitre saw. Again, I'm using the Gorilla Wood Glue here and Brad Nails to secure the front piece from the inside. I did forget to film this bit, but I also cut a few blocks and secured them along the inside of the front piece for added strength. So I chose not to mitre my corners, but to make this look seamless, I'm taking my favourite two-part filler and filling up the corners and knots in the wood. This will help make it look like it's always been there and just give it more of a proper finish. And here I'm taking my orbital sander and sanding everything smooth.
I'm already so much happier with how this looks and the improvement that this plinth has made to the piece. All I need to do now is take some flexible plastic based cork and run it along where the plinth meets the sideboard and this will help prevent any cracks appearing over time. And now for the messy part. So I want to get rid of this nasty orange stain that's on this pine top. So using my orbital sander, I'm working up in the sandpaper grits to remove the existing finish and to get the wood nice and smooth, ready for the whitewash. Then took a microfiber cloth and some warm water to clean away the sanding dust. As these drawers and doors have a lip all the way around them, I'm quickly removing them just to paint separately so I get a nicer and more professional looking finish. It's really not nice when on certain pieces you leave the doors on and you try and paint around them and you get paint up in the hinges and it just doesn't really give a great look. Once this was done, again taking my orbital sander and giving the whole thing a thorough sanding with some 180 grit sandpaper. Now all of the sanding is out of the way, I'm giving everything a thorough clean by blowing away all of the dust and wiping everything down with warm water that I've diluted disinfectant into. And here's a quick close up of the nicely sanded top, which is ready to be whitewashed. So I want this top to have a very bleached out and limed look to it. So to do this, I'm taking a basic white chalk based paint and diluting it into a spray bottle with some warm water. And here I'm just taking the spray bottle and spraying it on quite liberally and using a large oval brush to work the wash into the grain. So in total, I did two coats of the whitewash because I wanted that really bleached out limed look. And on every coat, I finish it off with some large continuous brush strokes following the direction of the wood grain. So I brought it inside now to paint and out of the direct sunlight, you can see just how nice this bleached out top is starting to look. As you can see from the sideboard that sat behind it, I'm going for a similar look with this one. And so the paint that I've chosen for this sideboard is French Chic Furniture Paint in the colour Spitfire. 
I love this colour, it's a really nice mid-tone grey and I think it will complement the bleached out worktop really nicely. As you can see here, I'm using a fine sash brush and I'm just working the paint down into the grooves that make up the side panels. I then chase behind with a fibre roller to remove any brush strokes and this will help give me a much flatter finish. So the wood that makes up the plinth along the bottom is far more porous than the pine that makes up the rest of the sideboard. So I'm just being far more liberal with the amount of paint that I'm applying to the plinth because I know that it will soak up quite a lot of the paint on the first coat. So the first coat is on, I've left it for about an hour to dry. It does look quite translucent, but this is pretty good coverage for a first coat. I think I'll get away with just the two coats today, so I'm quite happy about that. So when painting the cupboard doors, I just take a large round oval brush and work the paint down into the low spots of the cupboard door and chasing behind with my fibre roller afterwards to give a nice sort of brush stroke free finish. So now that the cupboard doors and the sideboard have both had two coats, I'm just screwing the doors back on now. And now for the last and probably one of the most important steps is to seal the piece. So I'm taking my French Chic finishing coat and a large oval brush and brushing on two coats in total to the piece. And then I just screwed on the new hardware. And here's a few photos just to remind you of how it looked before. It was a tired and dated looking piece of furniture in desperate need of a makeover. And here is the finished piece. I am so happy with how this sideboard has turned out. And in fact, it's turned out far nicer than I thought it was going to be. I'm really pleased with how the plinth really squares up the look of it and makes it look far more contemporary. And I love a bleached worktop to a sideboard or a chest of drawers. And I do think that it suits this piece nicely. I was also chuffed because I listed this for sale and within two hours, someone messaged me and it was purchased and picked up the next day, which is great. So thank you so much guys for hanging out until the end to see the finished product. I hope you all enjoyed this furniture flip today, so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon on my next video.